Hello, this is Kristen Brindley with DC Metro Real Producers. Welcome to our podcast. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm here with the wonderful Jeremy Lichtenstein. Thank you for being with me today. Thank you for having me. Uh, he is our January cover for DC Metro Real Producers, so thanks for tuning in and um, he has had a wonderful career and continues to, and he's an illustrious guy. He's done a lot of great things. So, I'm very much looking forward to this uh, this interview. So, you could do anything, Jeremy. Like you're, you're a smart guy, you could do anything. Why did you choose real estate? Well, hmm, that's a good question, actually. So, I wanted to make as much money as I could with no employees. I did not want to be a labor-intensive organization, and I felt like. I just want to rely on myself. Coming from a construction landscape background where I had many employees, and I just knew that that was not what I wanted to continue to do. So I went into real estate, and plus I love houses and numbers, and it just fit perfect for what I was looking for. Good for you, finding the, the thing that you love. You know? yep. What has been your biggest challenge as a realtor? Conforming to the dress code of realtors and having to dress <laughs> in suits and things like that formal dress and I kind of had to create my own little uh, I guess Jeremy wear and uh, included jeans and sweatshirts and I love it yeah behind time Bahama shirts and cargo shorts <laughs> I have mostly seen you in those it's fantastic <laughs> I love it um, <laughs> what has been the most like rewarding part of your business um I think bringing people from the beginning stages of planning out the new home and helping with design layout and picking out selection, making selections and to the finished product and just watching the excitement in people's minds and their heads and figuring what they like most and I love it. It's a great process. How does it fit into like your dreams and goals? It sounds like you've found the thing that you love. I would say more finances my dreams and goals. Um, Giving back to the community is my number one dream and goal, and it really, really has helped both with my charity that I've created and um, having people around me that I've met through the real estate business that have helped us grow so quickly. So it's been a, a great opportunity, and that's what I love the most about it. I love how you give to the community. How do you define success? I find success really finding contentment. If you're content, you've really become successful. Because you're not searching anymore, you're not like having to create new goals and new goals. But if you're just content with yourself and what you do, that's success, really. It's not about how much money you can make or how many faster cars you drive or big houses you live in. It's just being content. Absolutely. Tell us about your family and what, what drives you? Um, I have a sister and brother. We're very close. Um, but unfortunately, one lives in California, one lives in Maine. But we talk sometimes daily. And uh, I have uh, two daughters, one graduating college this year and the other one graduating from master's program. And um, unfortunately, I've been what I like to call uncoupling my marriage, my 28 year marriage, <laughs> but we're all still remaining friends and that's been the most important thing. And, uh, you know, it's really, it's nice to have a community around me and friends and everything else. So it's really helped us get through this process. Absolutely. And, and to be happy, right? 100%. Always. So what are you currently learning or, or what, what is your um, passion to learning right now? I actually learned a lot about patience. <laughs> I was not a typical patient person, but after going through the uncoupling process and also in real estate, you really do have to have patience because it obviously does never go exactly the way you want and you have to be flexible. And I just think that uh, it's been a huge learning curve for me in the last couple of years, patience. But I feel like I'm a better person for it. Get back to the community. Tell us about kind and 
think you just got a pretty big award, too. Tell us a little bit about that. We did win the Good Neighbor Award from NAR, and it's basically giving back to the community. Um, and it was an incredible experience going up to Boston and being graduated by 21,000 people and you know, wow. giving speeches, and they gave us a $10,000 know, award. And also the fact that you know, we started this um, charity seven years ago to really give back to the community and I feel we've done that and we want to just keep continue to grow um, but we're basically feeding kids on weekends that don't have food you know this farm program basically allows them to eat at school but when there's no school then a lot of these kids don't eat so like so we're currently feeding 2200 kids every weekend and it's really truly my passion at this point drove you to start that? Like, tell, us, tell us a little bit about that. Ten years ago, I was coaching one of my kids' teams, and a father came up to me and asked me if he found a program uh, regarding kids and food, would I help him? And I said, sure, just tell me what to do. So he actually did find a program down down south, and uh, we he started it, and I helped him do the program, and I realized, good, I could do so much better than this, with my organization, skills, and you know, just knowing more in the community. So I started my own and um, realizing the need was so great. I had no idea, like most people don't, who live in Montgomery County, that we'd actually have a third of our students on the free and reduced meal plan. So once I learned more about it and really educated myself on it, I just felt like I had to make a difference in the world and in the community. And I really was fortunate to have such support from Realtors, lenders, um, title companies. It's been amazing. And then it's, I think they enjoy doing it as well. I think so too. Uh, so, what, what sets you apart? What makes you different? Whatever. Well, in Rose, which we mentioned before, is I created a niche that I felt comfortable in and felt like I could be the best asset for a potential buyer or seller in. So I do new construction typically in Bethesda, um, even when it wasn't popular 22 years ago. And it's become extremely popular, fortunately for me um, and others. But um, I think finding a niche for me was the best move I made because I didn't want to be in with the other 40,000 agents in the area doing the same thing. So I don't know, it's just how I work. And fortunately, you know, a little bit of luck it took off and there we are today. So hey, this guy is super humble. Can you um, give us an idea of your work ethic? Like, How do you like to work? I would say beginning I worked way too many hours, way too hard because it's just who I was and I wanted to, I did want to meet success. I wanted to be successful at what I did. And, um, you do have to work hard and you have to know what you're doing and you have to know your niche if you're going to create a niche that no one else could really know as much about as you do. So once I created that, I think I've slowed down a little bit, but probably not enough. <laughs> uh, if you were to give advice to a real producer out there, someone looking to become a real producer, uh, what advice would you give them? Um, in business, I would say I would find something that no one else, or not as many people are doing. I would get out of your box, and I would say, you know, I find giving back to the community makes me a better person for myself, but also for others that are witnessing it. And I think that that's made a, a big impact on my business as well. And I think people just get so complacent with their, you know, with who they are and what they do. And they just got to just really climb out of the box and do something different. What is the greatest lesson um, you feel you've learned? The greatest lesson I've learned, I think, is it sound kind of corny, but it's really being nice to everybody. Because everybody's so connected with everybody else. You just can't believe that person knows that person, that person. So even if you're having the worst day possible <laughs> and someone's really bothering you, <laughs> you just have to be nice.
And I'll tell you, it's kind of funny, but it's so true because I've had so many times people mention that, you know, that they know you from a certain situation and they say, oh, you're the nicest guy. And I'll go, oh my God, that person was so under my skin. But, you know, it's one of those things where people just really have to always put on that nice face. <laughs> I think that's a great lesson. Um, and also Probably not the one you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's absolutely perfect, and it's real and authentic, and it's so you. Um, love it. Uh, what would you like to be remembered for, Jeremy? Oh, good God. Outside of my family, which would be a great father and, you know, a great husband at one time. <laughs> um... Really just giving back to the world, giving back to the community, and just knowing that you've made a difference in the world, and knowing that my kids now that know that we've made a difference, and they're part of it, and the fact that they're going to make a difference, and I think just everything combined, for me, is all about giving back at this point, and, you know, it's, it's contagious, it just is, once you become part of something like this, you just always continue to do better, you know, and I think that's what I want to remember. I think you will be. <laughs> um, and pardon Jeremy, is there anything else you'd like to share with the real producers? <laughs> it's great being part of you guys. Thank you for allowing me to be. I don't ever look at my numbers, look at who I think I am or anything like that. I just, every day, just do the same thing and just try and do a better job at it. And, you know, I look up to so many people and think I'm in awe of, but the end of the day, you know, the end of the day, we're all human beings trying to do well, so. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for representing our community so well out there, too. Um, have a good day, Thank everybody. you for having Thank me you. on. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank yeah. you. All right, you heard it here at DC Metro Real Producers. Have a great day.